all right so we have some changes to this amazing machine uh we got some different uh wheels for it but we're gonna keep these as well but the main thing is there's gonna be a lot of suspension work on this car that needs to be done and steering components need to be replaced and the alignment is pretty bad on it there's a lot of loose parts uh in the front end of this car so we have to you know work on that uh, i'm gonna start working on it here in a little bit and uh have to change the axles too they're actually they've been like they have uh torn boots and they've been leaking for a long time so time to take care of all this stuff and like always don't forget to save and love all these amazing old school cars ain't that the truth classic well, I know it's already really dark, but this is the time I can work on this truck as of right now. So I'm going to try to do some repairs to it now. I'm getting ready to jack it up and uh, I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to probably do the tie wraps today. The tires are actually bad on it and they need to be replaced. And then tomorrow I'll probably do the axles. I have to replace the CV axles on it. But yeah, definitely needs a lot of love and suspension work. All right, so I'm about to put it on those two jack stands. The wheels are off the ground. So it's on jack stands now. Let's take a look. I'm gonna see that play. It's actually this, the outer tie rods are bad. The idler arm right there is bad. So I'm gonna change all this stuff. one of them this part right here the steering dampener we're not changing and it's actually a fresh part right there so we are not gonna do that but the rest of the tie rods in there is outers we have to change and along with this idler arm so all of the nuts are loose i'm gonna use this pickle fork and a hammer to loosen all this stuff up out of the way so i've got most of them loosened up i'm gonna get this guy out of the way this is really bad. Actually, this has play. Same thing on the other side. So, gotta take care of this amazing machine. Alright, so this guy is out. It's your idler assembly. It's pretty beat up, actually. It's pretty bad. There's the new assembly. That's the old one right there. All right, new idler arm is installed. I also put copper paste on some of the bolts, actually all of them. Yeah, so amazing, brand new, looking good. Man, I didn't know this was gonna be quite a bit of pain. This side is giving me like a lot of issues. It does not wanna come loose. So, and these are all new tie rods I prepared. Actually, uh, what I did is I bad and pretty loose and yeah, it's not good it has brakes uh, brake problems too this caliper is trash it's eating up the rotor and the brake pads are uneven they were crazy this thing is making it lots of love for sure I finally got this bad boy out and initially this boot was not torn but as you can see there's no grease and there's rust inside too it's pretty loose actually it was already loose before i started hammering on this thing yeah i'm actually thinking of replacing this pitman arm too i'm probably gonna order that as well so now what we can do is basically grab this assembly and this sleeve actually loosened it up we're gonna undo each tie rod from this and just install new ones on and then do the same thing with the other side. All right, added a bunch of copper paste on this new one, ready to install it onto the sleeve. This 
side is ready to go on and uh, I'm about to install it. So this is the next day. I haven't finished everything but this is where I left off. Okay, just gotta finish installing these tires, but first I have to change these axles out. That's why I don't wanna install the outer tie rod. So I'm gonna have to pull the knuckle kinda to the side to do that. Yeah, and this truck actually needs a lot more work. Needs it's got seat gallopers and needs pads, brakes, uh, brake rotors and stuff. It needs quite a bit of love. Today we're continuing to work on this amazing machine. I finally get to work on it a little bit during the daylight. And I'm gonna be removing this axle. It's pretty nasty. It's all the boots are torn and all that, so it has to get uh, has to get done. And also ordered new calipers for it because they're trashed. So bad they are. Boot is torn open. So I gotta remove this. I'm gonna lower this. I'm gonna actually disconnect this ball joint first. Good thing I didn't remove the brake assembly yet because I'm using a screwdriver to hold the rotor from spinning. So I can loosen these 17 millimeter nuts right here. And they're pretty tight. I already got one loose right there. A few more left. So got this cap off, got that bolt off of here. Might have to remove this assembly right here. We'll see. And those are already loose. So I can go ahead and pry this out of the way. Maybe I can even get away without removing the ball joint. We'll see. Take this cap off. There's a bunch of grease here. So there's a space, spacer and the ring you have to take off. As soon as you do that, the axle will be free, basically. Now I have to figure out what to do with the ball joint. Yeah. Loosen that or what? <laughs> Alright, decision is made. We're gonna loosen this ball joint and it's actually really really nice on this i think a lot of toyotas do that so you can just remove these 13 millimeter bolts and this will literally separate you don't have to like hammer anything at all pretty much it's really cool so now as you can see those bolts are hard to get to so you just turn the knuckle this way and you can get to those bolts easy so the axle is out on that side I and mean, this is kind of sketch right here because it, uh, you know, I wasn't able to actually like pull on it because of this torsion bar right there. So I had to use a jack to actually lift on. So I guess maybe it's better to just remove the upper ball joint instead of the lower one. Yeah, so that's questionable. Now I can try to take this axle out. Man, still struggling with this. So had to disconnect this ball joint too. This axle is actually pretty long right there and it would not come out either way or the other. So I kind of have to like grab this whole knuckle and move it out. That way I can take this axle out. What a pain. So I was doing this job <laughs> and long story short, decided to change everything while I'm here. Probably gonna do the control arm bushings as well. New ball joint, it's gonna go here. And then the bottom one is gonna be also replaced. <laughs> So it's nice, it's got the grease fitting, so that's good. Can undo this ball joint. I'm gonna lower it down now. The ball joint is loosened up too. Well, the ball joint is ready. The only thing is that sucks is I had to pound these in myself using sockets and all that i don't know why they couldn't just install it from the factory for me you know ball joint is pre-installed got a new axle ready to go in also had a grease there just in case yeah so i guess this is the easiest way of installing the axle i'm gonna have both ball joints out also this hose will be getting replaced that doesn't matter oh boy so quick tip if for example these two come up and these two are still like stuck down there and the threads are like not visible then just kind of start tightening each one whichever one you can and then that will actually bring these two all the way up all right now i'm taking off the slower control arm because i'm just gonna change the bushings on it they're pretty bad 
I'm not gonna really touch the upper control. It seems like somebody was there and working on it, so that one's fine for now, but the lower one needs to be done. All right, guys, so this is the next day. I'm actually about to go and change and start working on this amazing machine again. I uh, got some more parts that came in and also a couple of special tools to remove the pitman arm on this car. And we're almost, almost done. Uh, I just have to work on that side and then I'll have to do the brakes as well. I have to change the calipers, brake hoses, all that stuff to make this machine amazing again because as you all know, unfortunately, a lot of people just don't take care of these amazing machines, but we do, we love these amazing old school machines no matter what it's not just you know german cars it's also swedish old school japanese cars and whatnot everything all of the old school cars deserve love because they used to be built with quality all right so i'm gonna start working on this side now take the wheel off and gotta change the axle on this side as well and the brakes i'm gonna basically start doing the same thing i did on that side you gotta start uh working on this machine and i'm loosening these lug nuts but they're like they're super tight that's not good it's almost like they're stripped or something like not all of them at least this one is fine <laughs> yeah so all of these bolts or lug nuts are out except this one this one this is just a pain it's gonna break i feel like no the rest of them are gonna remove them i mean like how hard it is to, you know, install a lug nut onto the stud. I don't understand. It's like so many people fail at doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you start working on something. Seems like it's, oh, it's easy. And then you run into something like this. It looks like a simple thing, but there's a problem. <laughs> All right, so now I have this puller. And I already marked the um, gearbox to the arm, the pitman arm. So I just, it's pretty rusty. I'm gonna spray some uh, PB blaster, let it soak. And there's a bunch of rust right there. So, and then I'll use the puller to pull it off. And this um, ball joint is actually getting pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's not that bad yet, but it was going to be. That's why I just decided to change everything at once. All right, so when you're turning this, you can eventually hear a, like a loud clunk. That means it started moving. So I already did that. Just be careful, make sure this rod is in the center. It doesn't mush from your threads or anything. And made another mark right there, middle to middle. I'm gonna remove this guy now. And this should be able to just come out by tapping it. Oops, just be more careful. <laughs> but yeah, there it is. It's the old one. Got a new one here. New versus old, and I just gotta transfer the mark to this one so I can align it easier. All right, so I put a little bit of copper paste right there. Got my mark, and I'm gonna go ahead and install this bad boy right now. Let's try to line it up. Now using a, a brass punch, oh, you're gonna start punching this, th this thing up with a hammer all the way around till it seats. The caliper is completely seized. This is, uh, I had to pound out these brake pads because just the pistons are stuck. They won't go back in. I have new calipers on the way, but yeah, that's horrible. Usually what happens when you don't change brake pads on time, if you let them like go all the way like this, they're gonna have gonna have issues with calipers later on. Change your brake pads on time. So this pitman arm is such a pain. Like it's not all the way in. And I tried like using sockets like this to just hammer it up and all that. And I even compared old part with new part and they're fine, they're like the same. It's got the taper to it, but it's just being a pain. And I tried like using my jack, but it's not tall enough. So yeah, I'm gonna have to work on this a little bit now. In the meantime, I got this brand new ball joint. We can install it right here onto this spot. So that's gonna be this. Ooh. That's okay. 
we'll get it right you know it's sad that you know people don't take care of these amazing cars so people like us have to do it control arm is currently out because i'll be changing those bushings so i have to take it out i'm gonna be rebuilding both of them i somewhat got this as much as i could didn't want to pound too much on it but it's holding up it's not going anywhere now i'm just gonna tighten this guy it's 22 millimeter and all these joints are gonna get greased up at the end I don't know how I'm going to fit the cotter pin in there. The hole is really too low. I mean, I can fit it in there, but it's like, what is that going to do? Unless if I kind of <laughs> wrap it around or whatever, but yeah, it's too low. Well, at least I did it like this All right now. I'm going to move on, start working on the other side. The other side needs a lot of help, and then I'll come back and start doing those brakes. Yeah, this stud is definitely going to break. Uh, no doubts about it. it's coming out really stiff. I'm trying to work uh, it back and forth, but it's no good. The lug nut is going to be trashed and the stud itself. So while I'm doing the rotors, I'll have to change multiple studs as well. Very much fun. Got this out without breaking it. <laughs> it's super warm. Definitely stripped. So that's trash. Put this to the side. Brakes on this side are a little better, but I'm gonna change these. This one as well, this caliper, rotor, all that stuff. Oh boy, so much grease here from the axle. So the person was asking me to replace the ball joint, the upper one too. Where is it at? I'm, I'm kind of lost. I have to even like find that ball joint. Look, I gotta find that guy. Look at all that cake. Look at that extra weight. It's amazing. Well, maybe it was uh they were off-roading it. I mean, I'm assuming that's what happened probably. But yeah. I wish I could get paid extra for labor for, you know, actually finding the ball joint. Control arm is out. These bushings are totally gone. Trash. Look how dirty this control arm is. Damn. Oh, man. It's going to have to spend so much time cleaning it. Now, I'm still waiting for this cap to get soaked. I'm trying to take it off so I can take this axle out. Ooh, so much work. Oh, amazing machine, bulletproof. See that metal? That's how cars today are supposed to be. I gotta tell you, this axle is ready to break free. As you can see, <laughs> it just came out like that. Man, I'm getting exhausted with this car. Uh, kicking my ass this thing I've been trying to get this cap off but it's stuck so yeah that's why I need I need to take this cap off so I can take the clip off to take the axle toy out already getting dark finally got this thing out and I can slide the axle out Okay, now I can put some grease there. I don't think it's like really necessary, but I'll put some grease there and install new axle. All right, I got the axle, put grease here, a brand new one, ready to install. It's the next day today, and I'm actually pressing the bushings out of these control arms. Uh, it's not too hard. This uh, tool works really, really good for that as well. So. out you can see pretty tired and I'm gonna clean this up and the 
yeah, install new one. Not gonna lie, the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> I have the car on top of the control arm and I'm pressing it in, the bushing. Otherwise, it's just a pain, I can't do it. I tried so many different methods. I even tried calling shops, they don't wanna do it. All right, this is the next bushing I'm doing. There's a pain in the ass, literally, to install the other one, but yeah, you have to kind of do what you gotta do. And yes, I was trying to hold this in a vise before, but it wouldn't work at all. Next day, today, basically, control arm is almost in now. Mm. Gonna do the brakes, wheel bearings at the same time, calipers, and the hoses. It's like one of the last things I have to do. Got my hardware here for the ball joint and finishing that up. Yep, lots of work. Now I'm gonna open up the reservoir. And we're gonna suck out the old fluid using turkey baster. Ooh, look how nasty this thing is. After sucking out all the old fluid, I'm gonna put fresh brake fluid in this thing. Like so, I'm about to change this brake hose. I already loosened the fittings. Nasty brake fluid is coming out. I'm gonna have this brake fluid just drain right here to this bottle and I'm taking the caliper off. Calipers are trash. I've got brand new calipers right there. So I'm letting it drain till clear fluid comes out. It looks like it's clearing up now. Okay, also keeping an eye on that master uh, cylinder. So I've got the bearings out, the hub and everything. I'm gonna place this rotor right here. I'm gonna clean this up. I got new grease ready to go. I'm gonna repack the bearings too. All right, so I got new wheel seals for it as well. So I'm gonna take these out because I also want to repack that bearing, clean it. This one, I uh, cleaned it up as much as I could and I inspected it. It looks pretty good. So we will reuse those. I clean this area from old grease. All right, this is my most favorite method. If you don't have the, uh, you know, impact gun. All right, so. The wheel is going to be holding this and then you can go ahead and loosen all these bolts that go all the way around also remove the seal and clean all of this yeah so it makes it a lot easier using this method all right all the bolts are out and go ahead and lift it up like so okay there's your hub now good opportunity to check and replace any of the studs for the lug nuts in case if it's stripped all right i took the old seal out i'm gonna take this bearing out so i repacked the bearing added a bunch of new grease in there ended up not filming the whole thing because it's messy and uh, just gonna go ahead and uh, install this seal right now onto this guy it's 
So I got this one pounded out. This one is actually like bent, so it's not good. Got a new one, it's pretty easy to install. Well, you just use, uh, use the brass punch. Okay, ready to install the rotor right now. Here it is. Added new grease here. Be really careful, don't introduce any dirt. And uh, I'm about to install the hub assembly on it with the rotor. There's this special big socket you have to use for these uh, tiny nuts right here for the bearings. And these. Uh, these nuts don't have to be tight, just kind of like snug by hand mainly. I think it's only like 18 foot pounds of torque. And I'm gonna spin it. New caliper is about to install those. Got new brake pads for it as well. Start installing them. All right, we got brand new brake hose installed. Everything tightened up. We'll just have to bleed the brakes. New caliper. And this I have to finish up, putting the cap back on for the bearing and all that. And yeah, new brake pads. This thing is almost ready to be back on the road. It's crazy. So now I'm just uh, literally using that tool to tighten the bearing. And with the bearing, you just have to go hand tight as much as you can. And then just kind of see if there's play in the wheel. As soon as the play is gone, then you stop. So it doesn't take much, literally. Like, I, I don't use any tools, just hand tight oh, as much as you can. And there's no more play anymore. Everything spins good. All right, everything is installed. Two nuts and the washer in between. And this guy is about to go on. It's just a cap. It's just fine, it should go like this. There. Have to spin the wheel a little. It was on completely like so. And that's almost it. Just gotta reinstall the bolts, nuts, hardware, and that's it, guys. <laughs> I don't know how many days I've been working on this car. Probably like a week, a little over a week. Um, because you know waiting on parts and you know this part doesn't fit or something else and then something else I found that you know had to be changed so. but yeah it's last wheel left to do and then I'll just kind of do a hand uh, you know the old-school style alignment and then after that we're gonna take this car to actual an actual alignment shop so they can align it properly so this thing can be amazing again pretty, pretty much the whole entire front suspension has been changed for the exception of the upper control arm bushings but those are still okay and so now since i'm here i'm gonna check these uh studs to see which one needs to be changed well, this one's kind of stiff so i might change this one now i'm just letting this drip until it's clear fluid and I'm almost done with this side congrats Alright guys, everything is ready to go, all the parts, all the steering linkages, components, whatever, everything is back together. Alright, new calipers, new rotors, man, this truck received so much love, it's crazy. Yeah, and I kind of try to get the alignment closer, but he's going to go to the alignment rack tomorrow or some stuff, or maybe in next week, I don't know, and uh, he will get it aligned. Look at these all brand new parts, amazing. Pump, release, press all the way, hold, pump, release, 
Hold it. Pump. All right, release. She's clear. Amazing. All right, after all these repairs, we're gonna test drive this amazing machine. Let's see, it still needs alignment and a couple other things, but there's so much to this machina. Amazing old school Toyota truck. Did I make them like they used to? Ain't that the truth, Isaac? <laughs> <laughs> There's an amazing machine. Feels like a new truck, just needs an alignment. And that's about it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> amazing machine.